Uh, hopefully y'all can hear me over the wind. I don't know how long I was going to be on the recording. Uh, the storm for this week is blowing in. But I really am sorry about how little I did on Sunday and Thursday. Those videos. Uh, the night before I was recording that, my legs were killing me for the entire night. Like my knees specifically. Where I had to take pain meds and go to bed. And I didn't feel great, but it wasn't as bad as the night before when I woke up. So I went out and did try to do four stuff, but trying to stand on that hill at all just completely re murdered my legs. Ugh. Uh, part of the problem is with my legs is uh, I don't have a lot of flexibility or movement in them because uh, of my messed up right leg from when I was younger. Uh, I hurt it in a car accident and stuff. Or that I got hurt in a car accident and stuff. And so I've had a limp in my right leg from where it got damaged. Ugh. So, I don't have, like, full mobility in that leg. And so it makes me put a lot of pressure on my left leg, specifically. Which causes it to hurt a lot more. And I'm more than willing to admit that I do not take good care of my body. I, I'm trying to be better this year. But, uh... It's very hard to get into habits you don't have. And my depression is making me kick what few habits I do have. Which, since they're not like, very old yet, not even a year old. If you stop doing those uh, like, good habits for five days before you've been doing them for... Uh, I think you have to ingrain habits in for, I think it is like three to five months to like take it from something you are semi-consciously doing to an unconscious thought and any interruption can completely reset that. It won't for everything, but, uh... My depression will sometimes make me just lay there, and so all of my habits will reset. But I'm trying to be better, and I'll do a few extra bags if I can uh, when I go out next week. Uh, but thanks for listening, if anyone's even been listening.